Hey guys, welcome to the art room. Today in our snowflake art and science project, we're going to make snowflake shapes with glue and salt. And then we're going to paint them with colorful watercolors. And once they dry overnight, they're going to make awesome crystal snowflakes. We're gonna split this project into two parts. And for part one, the materials we need are a tray, glue, salt, and a pencil. Oh, and your printed out snowflake handout. The first thing we do is always the same. The first thing we do is write our name. Also, please write your teacher name on that little line inside of the dotted circle. And then go ahead and take your scissors and cut on the dotted circle. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are not robots, but try your best. Then you can take your scrap paper to the recycling. Place your snowflake on your tray. Then with two hands, use your glue to trace your snowflake template. We're going to go over each line with glue and try not to do too much. When it comes to glue, a dab will do. See how I'm just tracing the lines? I'm not making too many giant blobs of glue. Then I'll give you a little cup of salt. And I want you to shake that salt over all of your glue. See how I'm slowly shaking it over the whole entire design, not dumping a mountain in just one spot. Then I want you to very carefully pick up your paper circle on each edge and shake the salt off of your gluey snowflake. Shake it all onto the tray and then put your snowflake down on the table. You're gonna take your tray over to the bin I have in the middle of the room and shake off all your extra salt so I can reuse that salt for the next class. For part two, we need different materials. We're gonna need a cup of water, watercolors, a towel, and a paintbrush. And we're going to color in our crystal snowflake. Open up your paint and then take your brush, dip it in just a little bit of water. You might have to actually tap off some of that water each time. Swirl it gently in the color that you want and then just lightly tap your gluey salt snowflake. Make sure you're not digging your paintbrush into that glue and salt because we don't want to scoop it out or anything. We just want to color it. So I get a little bit more of my color and I tap. And you can use any colors you want for this part. Fill in your entire snowflake and make sure you clean off your brush in between each color so you keep that watercolor palette looking beautiful. Let's watch some of my students at work. I just love how this student lightly taps her snowflake and she's not digging that brush into the glue and salt. And I love these festive colors from this student. And here are some more students. Notice how they're not using too much water, just the tiniest bit, enough to get the color on their snowflakes. When it's cleanup time, take your creation with two hands and carefully walk it over to the drying rack so that it can dry overnight. How do you think your colors will change once your creation dries? Then carefully walk your watercolors back to their bin with two hands. Don't spill and walk your water cup and your paintbrush to the sink. Put your paintbrush in the cleaner cup, rinse out your water cup and stack it, and then spray and wipe down your table. I can't wait to see what you make. 